All I ever really wanted to be was one of three things, either a lawyer, a pilot, or an architect. I ended up pursuing architecture. And I absolutely love it. I've had a fantastic career and I've really enjoyed it. We always sit there and I always think, okay, I've looked at this in every different view and every different angle. And then along comes Julie and she has a completely different perspective on it and introduces me to something I wasn't even thinking about. There it is, it's a comp truck. You're in luck. God had been nudging me for a while to start mentoring and guiding younger women in the field. What do you think that, you know, the biggest challenges are there in the industry in, in general? It, it's what you said, it's because it's a male-dominated space. For a female to have a seat at the table, that's a job in and of itself. It's really difficult for women, especially women in the workplace, to be perceived as and evaluated as both competent and likable. We think they should be helpful, nurturing, caring. These are descriptive words that describe a likable woman. The problem is the qualities that we associate with leadership and executive position are decisiveness, strength, competence, and assertiveness. They're in direct violation of what it is to be a likable woman. And when a woman exhibits these characteristics like, you know, being strong and competent and assertive and decisive, we're penalized for it. My husband was sick, so I was sleeping in the guest bedroom. And God woke me up. I didn't wake up naturally, and I truly felt like when I woke up, I was like, God was talking to me. Like, I have something to say to you right now. And I, I'm not one of those people that uh, God has spoken to. Um, like, with words. God told me, he said, Julie, I want you to record a podcast to encourage and empower women. It's like I finally realized my ministry is uncovering unconscious bias and giving others the tools to to make the adjustment, to change our neural pathways. Welcome to the Underestimated Podcast, how stereotypes and bias are sabotaging your business and what you can do about it. I see that her podcast has a way of touching people across all industries, not just women, but men too. My faith has changed through this process. It's grown. I hadn't seen where my professional life and my personal life sort of meshed together up until this point, really. This is kind of what paved the way for me uh, with God showing me what my calling and my purpose and my passion is.